Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, data augmentation. In our previous classes, uh, we already discussed about convolution layer, max pooling layer, uh, max pooling layer. This is a continuation class. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that uh, you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, first we will understand what we will do in data augmentation. In data augmentation, let's take an image uh, and we will generate more number of images from that uh, image which we considered that is what we do in data augmentation so let's first understand let's take the coding part and understand how we will generate different types of images from the uh, single image at the end we will understand what's the use of that and uh, what's the benefits we will get by doing this data augmentation uh, coming to the coding part uh, let's first take an image this is the image which we considered on this image we are having a cat image it is center it is shown at the exactly to the center of the image there is a bed in in under the cat so this is the image what we do in data augmentation is we will take this image and we will create more number of images from the image which we considered from the cat image so what we are doing here is we are taking the image from the cat uh, the cat image is read into the variable called image it is converting it to a numpy array and the image is considered here image data generator this is the class which is used to generate more number of images in this class we are having an option rotation range is equal to 60 so what's this rotation range is equal to 60 means take an image and rotate it for 60 degrees minus 60 degrees it will randomly pick a value between minus 60 and 60 degrees and it will rotate the image minus 60 means it will rotate this side 60 means it will rotate this side like that it will randomly pick don't forget this point it will randomly pick some value between minus 60 and 60 and it will rotate to that value so let's take the output let's check the output what we have done here see from the image these are the images we are generating three images these are the images randomly picked some value and rotate it see here the cat has been rotated some degree so here one more point we have to understand whenever we rotate the image we will lose lose some image down here what 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 we have to do at that part we have to fill with the nearest pixel values that is what we are doing here see here so rotation is equal to 60 fill mode is equal to nearest means whenever we are missing the image some when we, when we done some rotation we will miss some image at the bottom so what we have to do we have to fill it with the nearest pixel values that is what uh, fill mode is equal to nearest means uh, so with that uh, the output which we got here is uh, these are the rotated cat images like that next one is uh, we are using an option here the next option here is a uh, width shift range is equal to 0.2 here the if, if you give the floating point value 0.2 means 20 percent of the image should be shifted so plus 20 uh, plus 0.2 means uh, shifted towards the right hand side minus means uh, shifted towards the left hand side uh, so randomly it will pick a value between minus 0.2 to 0.2 and it will shift the image the output which we got here is uh, this is the output we got here see here the cat has been shifted to the right side here also shifted shifted that is what it is happening the same way vertical shift uh, shift up and shift down uh, the same way vertical shift means height shift underscore range is equal to point two. height shift underscore range is equal to point two means vertical shift shift the image up and down see here the cat has been moved up here it has moved down that is what it is doing here and the next option which we have here is a horizontal flip flip the image horizontally see here the cat usually the cat should be on this side it's flipped towards the other side that is what it is doing here flip the image horizontally flip the image next one is vertically shift the image vertical flip vertical flip is equal to true means flip the image vertically here the cat has been vertically flipped that is what it is doing here next option here is a 
the brightness we are increasing the bright, uh, brightness and decreasing the brightness so we can change the image to dark and uh, bright colors uh, 0.4 to 1.5 it has given the range in the range we have to shift the images uh, means brightness should be increased or decreased above one means brightness below one means if, if you randomly pick some value the value should be if it is below one means we are reducing the brightness above one means we are increasing the brightness uh, so the output which we got here is uh, See here, it's it, it's become dark. The image become brighter. So that is how we are generating the new images. The next one is uh, the next uh, zoom underscore range is equal to 0.3. We are zooming the image to the uh, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, that is what we are doing here. See here, the images has been zoom in and zoom out. Uh, here, zoom out has been done. So these are the options which are available in the image data generator. From this, we, we are generating different types of images from the single image. What's the use of this? Suppose if you have if you are having a small data set, small image data set. What's, what's the point we have discussed in our previous classes when we discussed about neural networks and convolution neural networks? Neural networks are easily overfitted to the data if you are having small amounts of data. It's easily overfitted. In order to avoid that overfitting, we can generate uh, different images from this. Means we are uh, we are trying to increase our data set. Uh, and one more important point we have to understand: in our previous classes, we discussed about translation invariance. Uh, if the cat is here, if it is shifted to this side, uh, we have to identify that, that this is a cat. Uh, so this data augmentation is helping us in generating different sides of images uh, so that we can avoid translation invariance also. So that is the use of data augmentation. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.